again. In the kitchen whipping, I'm rapping again. Whipping. Keep on playing, but then I'm stabbing your friend. Woo. I'm in the hood, I think I'm. Hey y'all, Sai Baby here, and I'm back. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Let's try this again. Hey y'all, Sai Baby here, and I'm back with another video. So y'all already see the title. It's not about to get messy, but it's about to get messy. Seven whole ways you know you're dealing with a cheater. <sighs> I'm pretty sure none of us like cheaters. If somebody out there that loves cheaters, you need a therapist. How you like cheaters? Anyways, let's get into it. Number one, if you got a partner that always want to go somewhere and go out, like legit always want to go out not go out with you but they want to always go out they want to go out they want to go out with the boys oh they want to go out with the girls no why you always want to go out you don't say oh babe you want to go out let's go out to the beach or let's go have a picnic or something nah they just want to go out no not going.com Number two, somebody that always seeks attention. I'm not talking about the little, okay, well, I'm not talking about the hoes that always feel like they got to dress like a hoe when they go in a store. I'm not talking about those. Those don't count. They are already hoes, so we're not talking about those. I'm talking about the people that love to be seen and heard. Why you have to be seen and heard so bad? when your whole partner is with you y'all can be in the store they want to look off at actually in the store and you look at normal like okay like i can use me and my boyfriend at, for example we go to the store we look comfortable as ever like we don't care it's we're we're there with each other who, who we trying to who attention we trying to catch those people that like to go out and be seen at the just the store I'm not playing with them. Number three, off rip if you got somebody who's suspicious on their phone. Not going.com. I'm talking about every time a notification pop up. Or you that mother. Let's just say you go to their phone and it's 2019 and you don't see messages at all in 2019 and you see messages all the way only from like 2017 and start from 2017 or something like that yeah or if you never hear any notifications coming from their phone they turned off the notifications <laughs> they i'm telling y'all they turned off the notifications ain't no notifications because you ain't gonna know you ain't gonna see cheater number four which that leads me to number four always switching passwords now i heard some of the dumbest excuses of why passwords done got changed like in the past oh my co-worker saw my password so i changed it how about the hell you messing with what i could go on of the bs i done heard for the excuses of constantly changing passwords like Number five, if your partner always got to go somewhere. I'm not talking about going out. I'm talking about at the last little minutes. Oh, I'm about to run to the store. I'll be right back. Our food stamps dropped the day before yesterday, and we just went grocery shopping yesterday. What are you talking about? Go to the store for what? Our fridge is full, and our deep freezer full, and the cabinet is full. Go to the store for what? Now, I'm talking about constantly, like, little excuse. Oh, I need to go to the store, or I need to go here, or I need to go here. And I'm talking about it's at weird hours of the day. Like, you got a whole cheater. Mm -mm. Number six, 
if you've never been posted by your partner a day in your life and it's only on so-called special occasions, if that, <laughs> y'all getting cheated on. You're nowhere on his page, sis. You nowhere on her page, bro. Got you a whole cheater. They don't want all their hoes to see y'all together, pretty much. There you go. That's that's common knowledge. Everybody knows that. Or if y'all like take pictures and your partner never want to show they they ne they never want to show their face, never in none of your pictures. They don't want they don't want their hoes to see y'all together. Everybody know that. <laughs> Number seven, if your partner argues you up and down, left and right about somebody that they know needs to be cut off because they're interfering with the relationship, but they don't want to cut them off, that's they hope. They cheating. I don't care what nobody say. If your partner knows good and well that they're trying to interfere in the relationship and they go all out of their way just to try to keep them in their life. Yeah, you you got a whole cheater. They cheating on you because if my man say he don't want me messing with somebody because he know that he's interfering in a relationship and he not just telling me not to mess with them just because he's crazy, nah. He knows that that guy is it's common sense, like, me to argue him down, that would be me, I would be the cheater, why would I? Why? Dude, I'm talking about, they don't wanna cut him off. That's because I stay whole. I'm done. That's all of them. There are a lot more, but I just picked seven. It's a lot more, trust me, it's a lot more. If y'all want more, comment below. Go on my social medias, DM me, whatever you got to do if you want to hear the rest. Because I got a lot more. Like, I have a whole bag full of more. Like, phew. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're a new viewer, please, 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 please do subscribe. Check out my other videos. Like I said, y'all, I'm trying to have something for everybody. I promise. I promise I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard. Any guys out there that's looking at my channel, y'all need to DM me or something or comment below what guys would like. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Again, you guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Sa baby out. Wait, no, exactly how it go. It's Roach. No, but you can't do it like this. Foot low, dumb, on both my rear. Me and Joe Blow gon' skim me your bit. Ellie to me, nigga, get mine like the sit. Scream my nigga, don't got a hundred in the seat. I ain't no gay, I'm a Jew, did me.